Once upon a time in another time and space, I believed that eating a salad was the single best thing I could do for weight loss. And I also believed that as long as all the ingredients were healthy, that I could eat as much as I wanted to. In fact, more is even better. So I devised the perfect plan to eat a ton of salad and just sit back and watch the weight effortlessly fall off of me. But that was until one dark day when I realized that I could still gain weight eating healthy. All right, so today's video is going to be a quick story time sharing with you how my healthy salad was actually making me gain weight. Now I know that by hearing that a lot of you might be like, huh, how can a salad make you gain weight? And believe me, that's exactly what I thought too. So a couple days ago, I was actually making a salad in my kitchen and just thinking back to the time of how I actually did gain weight eating salad. And I thought, you know what? This is actually a good story that I should probably share with my followers because if you stick to the end of the story, there is a really good takeaway that could potentially help you too. Okay, so this is going back about two years ago before I lost the 60 pounds that I've currently lost to date. And I was still in that phase of, you know, trying to figure out what works, what doesn't. For those of you who might be new to my channel, I have been plant-based for many, many years. I'm a little bit newer to a whole food plant-based diet where we don't use any oil. That's only going back about four years or so now. But all in all, losing weight has been a complete struggle for me, even on a plant-based diet. So anyways, going back two years ago or so, I was on this salad kick and I was thinking, you know what? What food is better for weight loss other than a salad? That's logically what a lot of us would probably think. So I came up with this game plan that I was going to have a huge massive salad every single day for lunch and I was even a rock star and sometimes I even had a huge salad for dinner as well. So here I am like at the heaviest weight I've ever been, you know, all amped up and excited to get on this brand new health kick. You know, it's a new Monday, probably the gazillionth Monday that I was starting over in my life and I was ready for it. You know, like I felt really, really prepared. Now, one of the plant-based doctors that I've really enjoyed following over the years and have a lot of respect for along Alongside Dr. McDougall, another great one for me is Dr. Furman. And one of his recipes in his book has always stood out to me in terms of a salad dressing. His salad dressing that I think is called the walnut balsamic vinaigrette, I think it's called that or something along those lines, has been one of my favorite plant-based dressings that I've like ever tasted. I remember the first time I tasted, I was like, wow, this is like too good to be true. It actually is so delicious that, you know, it was hard to believe that it was healthy or it is healthy. So forget the quotations, it's healthy. So moving forward, my game plan was to make this massive salad for lunch. And like I said, even sometimes for dinner and to use this walnut balsamic vinaigrette. For me, it was super exciting. It was easy enough because I could make this dressing in advance. And because I love this dressing so much, I was like, you know what, I got this. Like this is gonna be super, super easy to be able to eat this. Like I'm never gonna get sick of it, which I really didn't actually. Like I really did find eating this salad to be quite enjoyable because the dressing was just everything for me. So the days are going and you know, I'm really killing it. Like I'm really feeling super proud of myself and you know, I'm eating the salad definitely every day for lunch I had it. Like I remember every day for lunch, I was on a streak that I was like, I had nothing but the salad. If I left the house, I brought it with me. Like I had it all the time for lunch. And then like I said, sometimes for dinner, if it was one of those days where I was really going strong, it would also be my dinner. So anyways, so now I'm at the two week mark and it's time to step on the scale and see you know, how much weight I've lost eating basically primarily only salad as my main dish for the past two weeks. And I didn't really slip up or anything like that. And to my awful, awful surprise, Hey, so before I tell you what happened when I stepped on that scale, in case it's the first time that you're landing on my channel and you're also trying to lose weight following a plant-based diet, then I can help because no, you do not have to be stuck eating salads for the rest of your life to get the weight off. I ate a ton of delicious tasting foods, but the trick was that I designed them in a way to be specific for weight loss. So I removed all overt fats out of my diet as well as focusing on foods 
foods that would keep me fullest the longest, which also helped me to not snack as much. So unlike a lot of the other amazing vegan cookbooks that are out there, my recipes include no overt fats, so no oil, avocados, nuts, seeds, none of the higher fat plant-based foods. And right now I'm running an amazing sale that all of my books, even including the new ones, are 50% off right now. You can find the link in the description box below. So now I'm at the two week mark and it's time to step on the scale and see, you know, how much weight I've lost eating basically primarily only salad as my main dish for the past two weeks. And I didn't really slip up or anything like that. And to my awful, awful surprise, I had went up two pounds. I went up two pounds eating salad for two weeks. Yeah. So I was not happy to say the least. Like, not happy as in I almost could have cried not happy. Not because of the two pounds per se, you know, two pounds, it's not that big of a deal. But for the very fact that I had just, you know, toughed out two weeks of eating pretty much nothing but salad only to have gained, that was not the result that I was expecting. So I almost have to laugh now over my innocence in the whole experience um because what i know now it's almost comical as far as what actually happened and what i didn't know then so here's the thing yes i was having salad no i wasn't you know cheating or whatever you want to call it eating anything outside of what i had set out to do but the reason why i ended up gaining instead of losing anything at all is because when i think back to what i was actually putting in those salads that's where the problem is. So generally speaking, yes, a salad is supposed to be, you know, filled with super low calorie density vegetables, making it a really good choice if you're trying to lose weight. But here's the thing, when you end up adding higher calorie dense foods to these salads, you have to be a little bit careful because now it's switching over from a salad that is, you know, 100 calories per pound if you're using a bunch of lettuces and non-starchy vegetables to other heavier foods that are increasing the overall calorie density of that salad. So to give some context to the salad, I was adding things like chickpeas to the salad, as well as about a half of an avocado or so, sometimes even the whole avocado if it was one of the small ones, um, and then the cherry on top, which was the dressing. So like I mentioned before, the dressing itself was and is a super healthy dressing. I think it has, you know, like walnuts in there. It has some balsamic vinegar, garlic, thyme. Look at me. I'm trying to remember it from the top of my head. Um, you know, a bunch of good whole food type of ingredients, nothing bad in there, no oils or anything like that. But I didn't realize how heavy it was calorically speaking because of the walnuts in the dressing. And because I love the dressing as much as I did, I had no concept of, you know, watching my portions when it came to that salad dressing because in my mind, I just believed that, well, this dressing is healthy. It's homemade. It's all like super healthy ingredients in this. So it can't hurt me at all. So let's just add as much as we want and make it taste as delicious as possible via the dressing. And also let me paint the picture a little bit better for you. We were not talking just a little plate of salad or a little, you know, side bowl of salad or something like that. I was eating enough salad that, you know, we're talking like six to eight cups worth of salad. Like I was eating the whole salad bowl, you know, the bowl that you would sit down to feed a whole family. That is like the portion that I was eating. So in order to cover all those ingredients, you can imagine how much dressing I needed to do that. By the time I was done adding the avocados and the beans and whatever else I was throwing in there and then coating this whole salad in a really heavy type of dressing that was probably only meant to have maybe like a few tablespoons added to, to a side salad, you know, like something along those lines. But instead I was using pretty much the whole recipe that I was making in one go. You know, like we're talking a lot because I just really didn't think that there was anything wrong with it because it was healthy. So I'm going to guess that this salad that should have been somewhere in the, you know, 200 to maybe 400 calorie ballpark for the whole thing was probably somewhere up to like the six, 700, 
maybe even 800 calorie mark. I don't know. All I know is that these salads were massive and the amount of dressing I was using was massive and the avocado I was adding, it was a lot. It was a lot, my friends. So knowing what I know now is kind of comical because now I have lost 60 pounds following a plant-based diet. And now I know that while these foods are healthy and that we don't typically count calories in this lifestyle, calories do matter, calories do exist. You have to be in a calorie deficit in order to lose the weight. And these were all the things that I didn't really realize in the beginning stages of my weight loss journey. I just correlated eating healthy with losing weight. And unfortunately, that's not always a package deal. Now, I would love to sit here and say that I figured that out right after that whole stint of gaining two pounds in two weeks after eating almost nothing but salad, but unfortunately, I didn't. I probably realistically just threw in the towel and, you know, really felt defeated and just went back to eating whatever I was eating and still just trying to figure out why I couldn't get this weight off. So for some of you, this story is also going to be comical because you kind of understand how calorie density works and that even if you're eating healthy, that you still have to kind of watch those higher calorie dense plant-based foods, especially when they're high fat. But perhaps maybe this story is maybe shocking for some of you. And if that's the case, then I would strongly recommend subscribing to my channel because I am here to show you all of my tips and tricks and everything that I've learned, such as this story today, you know, that helped me to finally get 60 pounds off following a plant-based diet. All right, guys, so there you have it. There was my moment of being vulnerable and showing the world that, yeah, I don't really know it all either all the time, <laughs> you know, so we live and we learn and we get smarter by the day. So at any rate, I hope you guys enjoyed this kind of funny story. Not so funny at the time, but funny now, and hopefully it might be able to actually help a few of you out there. So with that being said, thanks so much for watching everyone, and we will see you guys in the next one.